Right, Michal. How are we now? It's Heading up for a long run. It's an absolutely fresh morning for us. Quality. Fresh morning. Yeah. My brother will say, hey Mike, man, I know you're not going to run, but somebody said, would you fight this guy for like 40 Heading up to do a long run now. Um, <laughs> Heading up to Clamel with to meet Mike and Perry. <laughs> Just listening to Joe Rogan in the car with Michal. Starting off today with a pair. One minute. It's Bob Sanders. Ooh, how, how much time has gone since you first started exercise? How are you, big grand? Boys had to loosen up the old brittle, for him, not for me yet. brittle bones. Gotta get, get these glutes activated. <laughs> Woke up like this. <laughs> Woke up 10 minutes ago. What is it? We were listening to Mike Tyson. Right? Mike Tyson? Oh man, this is Mike sick. Tyson and uh, he was talking about like when he was a boxer and about like now being in shape is fitting into your clothes and being conditioned is like being able to get out of your body. Yeah, Just get go, out of your soul, he said. Go, go to that place. Sick. So that's what we're, we're aiming to do here. We, like want this, we want that, uh, we want to be able to get out of our bodies. Yeah, we'll we'll our souls on the as, as Mihal looks into my eyes and dry humps the floor. <laughs> yeah, so today is a long run for the boys. Uh, for Sean, it's just going to be 8 to 10 miles because he's coming back from injury. And uh, for Mihal, it'll be 16. Uh, 16 is his typical uh, long run distance. Um, we usually like to take it as a progression run. Um, so we start the first four miles easy and then progress the last 12 miles and uh, we'll get down to a 5.30 pace. And the whole idea around this is that 5.30 pace is what's the beginning of our tempo pace, which would be our marathon paced effort workout where he'll run anything from six to eight, eight miles. And that way then we're covering sort of the whole aerobic zone um, from recovery to the start of tempo and then the tempo runs will cover that area from 5.30 to 5.10 and then his threshold k's or miles stuff work that sort of half marathon pace will cover then the upper end threshold zone from uh, 5.10 to 5 minute. Uh, we just found uh, when we were doing our long runs easy, uh, he was just feeling uh, sort of dead and lethargic in himself. So the way we work it now is we have our two workouts a week in our long run and they have a specific focus. And then everything around that is just short, easy recovery runs. And um, yeah, we just find that long run bridges the gap between your recovery run and your uh, upper end aerobic stuff and just sort of builds a, a better uh, aerobic base and, and strengthens all those zones uh, stronger. Well, taking it all in for his long run. Taking it all in like, on the other side of the shore. <laughs> Driving nice and to He's in. made a treacherous journey across <laughs> to Tipperary. Yeah. For not uh, a 35 minute drive. <laughs> uh, as always, we're An hour swim. <laughs> yeah. It was a 35 minute drive and you have to like swim across because the, the river was up this morning, or the bridge was up this morning. So. Um, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. An old nine, an old was it? 16, 16 mile long run. Yeah. Sean's gonna do eight. Eight. I've got a nice cruise long. We got a savage day for us. Bit cold, but sure we'll get into it. Uh, we like a bit of sting in it anyway. We do. We do. <laughs> go, boys. Kick into it. Don't get knocked down. Oh, you're fit, but <laughs> not. <laughs> Didn't doubt you for a second, boys. <laughs> Pit stop. That's a tactical stop right there. I think he's feeling I think he's it. wilting, man. Yeah. You alright, Michal? Take a break there. Go on, sit down. I've been broken already in the first <laughs> one <can. laughs> Isn't it? Blue, eh? It's unreal. You gotta love it. Like, it's, a, it's absolutely unreal. Like, like in terms <laughs> of. <laughs> dark, dark place, like actually. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time on the blue, Yeah. No, it's lovely, it's so nice. Literally stretches all the way to Carrick. Does it? Yeah. 
In terms of the greenway, like it doesn't get much exposure. No, it doesn't. But, no, the greenway is heavily like cycling orienta yeah. orientated. You can walk the whole way too. Like, yeah, yeah. Unreal. Yeah. There's Emma. Hello. Say hello. <laughs> There's Sergio. <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> oh, geez, there's more fire. Oh, man. I tell you now, you, you jump in there, you'd. Oh, you'd get whipped away, wouldn't you? Oh, you'd be... <laughs> We'd meet you down in Carrick. The current air is strong enough. Can't beat the old soft pads. Oh, Jesus. Sessions you off to go. You're, you're just lightening up, you are. You need to cross train to limit the damage. Yeah, like yeah. limit how much you lose. Like say if you get injured for I have to take two weeks off or something. Yeah. You sort of limit the damage or limit the amount of fitness you lose. But um running is just like the ultimate. Yeah it is. Ultimate fitness like. Savage views that. Unreal. Four miles in. Sean's just after turning. And my wrist is killing me. <laughs> On we go, boys. On we go. We're averaging 6.35 for the whole team right now. Sick. Uh, so I'd like. I said, I'd All go. Yeah. My money coming back. So Bit of a boost of comment. You don't want to destroy him too yet, Sean. I think that's another thing, too. When it comes to running, it's things like this, like letting him go. Yeah, that's it. Not giving in to the ego, like. Yeah. But, like, knowing when to push and when to hold back. That's it, yeah. And, like, like there's no need, like you're only building into it, it's a long season. It is, yeah. There's no need to bust I yourself. I have so much time right now too yeah. because like the way things are right now, if there's races or not, and it's not even about that, it's just um, kind of sat down with Dave and we kind of talked out a plan of just being patient now and looking at the long term plan. Yeah. Of like say like three, four years like. Yeah. Um, and when you put it into that kind of perspective, it's like, realistically, you, the key is not to miss time, you know? That's your consistency, like. Yeah, so. That's all it ever is, like, just keeping the, keeping the, limiting the days you're injured and just listen to your body, I suppose, like. Yeah, and so it's, it's just trying to avoid not missing time from training. Yeah. So that's the kind of goal now. 100 percent And that's what Mihal has been doing, like. Oh, yeah, he's just, been. Just not missing. He's been so consistent, like. Yeah. And like, not been doing that in like special and it's just keeping the energy low on training yeah not getting too excited yeah so uh yeah it's gonna do big big things like this year big big things to come definitely it's absolutely mad like, i've run at 610 days here yeah like i feel like almost it's unlocked a new level of fitness the last few weeks yeah just feeling like, so much stronger I'm just jogging here, look. Yeah. It's absolutely mad. That's it, like, like we were saying, I was saying to Sean, like, it's just your consistency over the last number of years has just been insane, like. Yeah. And, like, it's all sort of come to this point. Yeah. So, like, I'm able to train now properly. That's it, like, and just take the punishment. Yeah. And not get injured, like, but. Yeah. I suppose you, right. do, you do so much for it as well, like, your mobility, your stretching, yeah. your. Your core. Well. That's it. Like it, it all adds to yeah. enabling yourself to be consistent. Exactly. Like I started running seven days a week now, so yeah. This went down just in four months, easy. Lovely. But like, it's the first time I've been able to do that. Yeah. My age is above above eighty now. Yeah. I seem to be having that really well, so yeah. Hopefully now get a full winter this century. Yeah. And. Uh, Different animal then from the summer next year. Big things to come then. Yeah. 
I know it's sick, man. It's just layering, layering them on sweet. That's it, yeah. And like, I suppose with Dave coaching as well, like he knows your, he knows you so well. Yeah. That, uh, that makes a massive difference. Like. Yeah. Like, but like he knows, he knows what benefits you and what what, yeah. you, what you work well off of. And what I need, like you just look at me in the summer and he was like, you need to turn it more. Yeah. That's it. I think everything I've done so far, we started with four twenty second kills. Yeah. And now we're into like doing big enough workouts, like like a seven mile tempo on Friday, sixteen miles a day. I'm down on six or seven pace now. Yeah. Like it's easy, but it started off so low. Yeah. And it's going to build so high, so it's exciting and it's just about making sure I stay healthy, you know? That's it, yeah. And balancing that college life and, and exactly. training as well, like, how are you, yeah. how are you finding it? It's tough. Uh, I'm loving it, to be honest. Yeah. Like, I'm living with Evan Keenan and Dave McGlynn. Yeah. They're really on it, so they're definitely on the same path as me results wise this year. Nine o'clock, so yeah, a lot of times we just end up going to bed. <laughs> yeah, that's it, man. That's the, that's the life of an athlete, like, yeah, we're the only college house in Cork, like that. Yeah, we live right outside the bar as well, so it's not ideal. Oh, you got those temptations, but we just hear people all night. That's it, yeah, running by shouting outside the windows. Yeah, but uh, you just gotta train harder to make sure you sleep through the night. That's it, man. <laughs> You got. You just become a heavy sleeper. Yeah. Sleep like a log. Yeah. Just... Behind the scenes, I wouldn't have a steady hand now like Mikey does. But oh, actually, she came off the bike. Time-lapse the video in the 4K. What about the nose, man? Let's watch your nose. <laughs> That's just, don't put that in. Unbelievable. Sick. Felt really good. Yeah. I moved back to training days now. Yeah. Really fit, really. Yeah. Oh, you, just so look so, you just look so smooth throughout. Yeah, time. it was 33.48 for the last, um, last six months. So what's that? 1538 average. Unbelievable. For the last six. Yeah, yeah. It's really good. Yeah, how um, was the wind? It wasn't too windy, was no, it? No, it wasn't too bad. No, it was fine. Yeah. Um, really good day for down again. Another good week. Yeah. Oh, just banking him at this stage. Yeah, yeah. Just banking him, layering top of layers. Yeah. Um, it's good to get that done now. Having you on the bike and yeah. having the camera on is all making massive. <laughs> no, yeah. What's Thanks, boys. Savage stuff. Time for food. It's yeah. time for food. <laughs> I need Sean to transport me to the shop ASAP. Yeah. What do you, Come on, I'm gonna be late for James. Dad. Yeah. I'm sorry. For the you're good. Oh, geez, they're, they're on the wheel. Where are they? Oh, don't show that. Don't show that. Don't show that. <laughs> Go on. I I'll usher you out. No See you boys. Bye bye. Into the pain cave, lads. Into the pain cave. Into James. Into James. For the stripping out. Just made it on time. Oh. We were late coming from Clamel, just made it on time. I set me hall here now. Um, just after being into James Sullivan. And finished 16 miles this morning. I did nine myself in for a bit of recovery. Unbelievable lads, we're at the junction. So we're just coming up Seskin Hill here now. Uh, I'm reading a book at the moment about uh, Sean Kelly and when he was younger training up this and over the lockdown, Sam Bennett, the gyms were closed so he used to ride up this in the highest gear possible. And uh, This is what got him ready for the Tour de France. Yeah, and he collected the green jersey off it. 
So as you can see, it climbs up massively. Some lovely climb. Right, so uh, we'll close out the video here. So just got back from James Sullivan's there. We're going to hit a uh, gym routine now. So it's only about 20 past three now. So I'm working at five. So probably spend 50 minutes now doing like a bit of core, a bit of glute activation and a few lifts as well. Um, and anyway, if you, uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please don't forget to like, uh, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.